Hello, hello, it's Sunday morning! Thank you so much for joining us here for today's edition of the Hokie Video Blog. I'm meteorologist Ryan Hoke. We are talking about a range of things this morning, everything from cloud cover to rain to snow. Yeah, there's a little bit of snow that we have to talk about, at least the chance for it, as we head toward the next seven days. Let's get right to things today with what it looks like out in Paoli. Yuck! Look at this. This is socked in with low visibility. A lot of this, unfortunately, is haze. It's pollution because we've got such stagnant air over the area, all courtesy high pressure. And, of course, we've got this capping inversion aloft acts as kind of a warm lid uh, above the uh, surface of the earth so that we get all these pollutants trapped in here. When you've got a lack of winds, it doesn't go very far. The pollutants do. So this is going to be a problem as we go throughout today. On our Storm Tracker 3D radar, we're clear and void of any precipitation, but certainly the cloud cover it extends all the way down to East Tennessee now. It's an expansive area. You can in fact see it across most of what looks to be the Midwest, a lot of the Northeast, even into the Mid-South as well. We've got high pressure over us, but as we said yesterday, this is not a clean and clear high pressure. It's what's called a dirty high. When you get these clouds trapped under it, and unfortunately, that's not going to be going anywhere as we go throughout the day. We're still under the air quality alert, code orange for sensitive groups, until we get to 7 o'clock this evening here in the Louisville metro area. High temperatures today get up to around 50 this afternoon. The computer model that's powering this hourly forecast here running a little cool in my opinion, but it's got the thing right saying that we're going to have the clouds as we go throughout today and tonight. Here's what Futurecast looks like as we go throughout your Monday. I think the Monday morning commute looks clear, not of the clouds necessarily, but of rainfall. In fact, by Monday at noon, we will be seeing a line of rain beginning to develop out to our west. This is going to be left over from some strong to severe storms that may have out in the plains this afternoon. None of that expected here, of course. As we go throughout the evening into midnight on your Tuesday, we see numerous rounds of showers. They'll be light in nature. I don't think we're going to see anything heavy in regards to rainfall. But a cold front, the first of two, moves through here. It's actually associated with this area of low pressure here. The second cold front moving through is going to be one that kind of intercepts this area of low pressure, one that's already present across portions of the upper plains right now. And as this moves through, this is going to be the one that brings us the solidly cold air. In fact, Tuesday looks to be a day where we start out near 50, around midnight. We drop through the day into the 30s as we head throughout nightfall and as we go into your Wednesday morning. So big shock to the system coming our way with temperatures probably not making it uh, over the 40 degree mark on both Wednesday and your Thursday. But this is what you came here for. We're talking about the snow system that we could see as we go throughout next weekend. As we go throughout 12.30 a.m. Saturday morning, we've got an area of low pressure down here in the Gulf States. It's gathering up moisture moisture and rainfall, maybe even some snowfall beginning to line up here across southern Kentucky. The big thing about this system is going to be the low track. Where is it going to track? Is it going to track more northerly? Is it going to track more southerly? The southerly track would favor snowfall around here, but if we get it too far south, then it all gets shunted off. The moisture does to the south of us. The second key player in this is going to be the cold air. How far is it going to be entrenched across the area? Still some differences at this time. As we play this forward once more, you'll see this is the Euro's solution. We are showing you here just the basic precipitation, not the precipitation type. So green doesn't necessarily mean rain in this case because the Euro is painting a band of snow along the Ohio River at this point. We're not going to show you those snow totals because it's just too early to do that and I want to make sure that we hammer home that there's still a lot of uncertainty with this forecast. If we do see the cold air entrenched across the area as the Euro is saying, then this setup would harbor snow for us. The GFS not as strong with the cold air and thus it doesn't have really any snowfall for us but that was the 0Z zero zero run. The 6Z run is coming more into agreement with the Euro now, starting to trend a little farther south with that colder air, a little farther south with that low. And so it, it does give southern Indiana folks, and even some of us here in uh, portions of central Kentucky, a little bit of snow as well. We'll have to see about this one. On the flip side of that, we talked about how it could get shunted off too far south and not see anything. 
and that's what the Canadian has at this time. That can't be discounted as well as a forecast. But based on the Euro's performance in past events such as this, it's worth noting that we've trended our forecast fairly heavily toward it. Not all of it, but a lot of it at this time. I'll show you the cold air that's going to be in place both in front of and behind this area of low pressure. This is the cold air behind it, the low kind of wrapped up right here. And then we've got the cold air in front of it in place to make snow kind of around uh, eastern and central Kentucky during this time as we go throughout your Saturday. So if we do see the snow, it could accumulate in places and it could accumulate to inches, we're talking here, as we go throughout next weekend. This is not our forecast, though. Our forecast at this time calls for rain or snow, an uncertain forecast based on what could happen here. We've seen these setups go north in the past. This one could do that. But given the fact that we're seeing the preceding cold air in place with the system that will be moving through Monday into Tuesday, that lends itself to more of a scenario where the low would be kind of shunted off to the south. We'll see how that goes. You'll want to stay with us for forecasts that are updated as we go throughout the rest of the week. As we go throughout uh, Wednesday and Thursday, again, that's the time frame when we do see 40 degrees for a high temperature there. I want to pull out Monday here to show you where these rain chances are going to be maximized. Pretty much 6 o'clock onward, that's when we see a 60% chance of showers. That continues through the overnight into Tuesday. I'll show you kind of another view of this system on Saturday, kind of one I showed on TV here. The fact that we may have snow or rain north of this area of low pressure, depending on how this all sets up. Brian's going to be in here tonight with snow talk. And he'll be going over more of the nitty-gritty with some of the models on how that's shaping up. I've given you just an overview to kind of whet appetites until we can get, uh, of course, Brian's detailed analysis here. I'm sure he'll have a pretty lengthy video tonight going over everything uh, that's going on with the data. I do want to state, though, that after this week, it looks like that we could be in for a cold pattern, one that takes us through Christmas and New Year's. Get ready to bundle up, folks. I think we'll have temperatures topping out in the 30s for quite some time. Could see some 20s here and there. As far as snow systems go after this one for the potential for this weekend, we can't get too specific because we've got to get through this one first to see how the atmosphere sets up for anything after that. But it's worth noting that the system is, or I should say the atmosphere, is primed for something else in terms of wintry madness to happen after this weekend. Definitely something we'll want to keep tabs on. As we go throughout the next several days and through the holidays, so you